What I have here is a powder dispenser unlike anything you've ever seen before. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm talking about the all new RCBS Matchmaster powder dispenser that can dispense a powder charge in as little as 20 seconds and in match mode it can attain accuracy down to 0.04 grains. That's almost three times as accurate as most common off-the-shelf powder dispensers. In this video I'm going to give you the first in-depth look at this new powder dispensing technology. I've got a nearly production unit here. I've already installed the beta pre-release version of the app. So I'm going to give you the very first look, but I'll also be following this up with many updates. Let's get this box open. I have not looked in it. I went to FedEx this morning to pick this up and I haven't even seen what's inside. Okay, so we've got some instructions, a bigger instruction manual here, and then it looks like the hopper. And then some parts and pieces. I see a pan there. Miscellaneous things in the bag. I'll get to that in a moment. Got to have a power brick to power the unit. Okay, so it's got the US type adapter on there and it looks like it comes with various adapters for European and other worldwide applications. Okay, and here it is. <laughs> this is the unit. Now, the biggest difference between this unit and other units that I've seen is this right here. This Matchmaster powder dispenser has got a dual tube design. It works a lot like the rotating tube powder dispensers that you're probably familiar with, but there's a large one to get a bulk powder charge onto the pan. And then there's also a small one to trickle it up to the exact powder charge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of this stuff. Uh, we'll review all of the parts and pieces as we put it together. I'm also going to be good. I'm going to read the instructions. In fact, I have an electronic copy that I just got from RCBS this morning that has all of the latest updates that you'll have when you buy a final unit. They sh should be available in a number of weeks, I believe, to the general public. And we'll go from there. Okay, so I've unbagged everything. I've read the instructions. Wanted to go over all of the bits and pieces here real quick. We'll do a quick tour and then we'll put the unit together. So we've got the main body here and let's see on the bottom of the unit we've got the drain and it looks like you can open it and shut it by just twisting it and the drain tube yes fits in here so you can put that into your powder keg and have the powder go in without spilling now if you've used one of these dispensers <laughs> you know what i'm talking about when you say it's a good idea to check to make sure that the drain is shut. Because I know for myself, many times I've poured the powder in and it started coming right back out. We've got the power jack on the back here. We've got the display, go and power buttons here. We've got an integrated level and it looks like I'm actually level uh, from the get-go here. The platen just sets in place here. Slight finger pressure here just to make sure that it's fully seated. We've got the pan, two calibration weights. We've got a 50 gram and a 20 gram. The powder brush to clean out the internals. And then we've got two caps, one for each of the dispensing tubes that we can optionally put in place if the need arises. We've got a windscreen. You'll find when you get into precision scales that the windscreen is a super important part of the setup because when you get down to the level of sensitivity that this is capable of, 0.04 grains, the slightest of air movements in the room can actually cause that much of a fluctuation. So you're going to always want to make sure that that is in place when you're operating the unit. You can put the hopper in place, the cap, that's the first time I've taken the cap off. Slides in nice, has a nice positive sound. So that's, that's the unit. When we go to power on the scale, there's an important step that we need to complete. We're gonna plug it in and hit power 
and on the initial countdown, we're gonna hit zero. And there's this tiny transport screw here. What we need to do after that sequence of powering on and hitting zero is just very gently tighten this screw. It is set at the factory to protect the load cell during transport since it's a very sensitive mechanism. And when we tighten that transport screw, that's gonna enable the scale to be ready for use. And we need to let this warm up for about 15 to 30 minutes. And after doing that, we can calibrate. I've gone above and beyond. I've let the scale warm up for an hour with the 50 gram weight on the platen like the quick start instructions tell you to do. Now it's time to calibrate the scale. And it's a very simple process. If we hit the cal button, it's gonna guide us through the entire process. Starts out at zero and when we hit stable, we're gonna hit cal again. Put the 20 gram weight on as instructed. Wait for stable. Hit cal again. Now it says, how about the 50 gram weight? So we put that on, wait for it to stabilize. Hit cal again. And that pretty much means that we're done. We take the weight off. Now we can put our pan on and then go ahead and hit zero. Now we're ready to dispense powder. So for our powder testing, we're gonna go with two different powders. Alliant Bullseye, which is a flattened ball powder, smaller granules, and Hodgson Varget, which is kind of in the middle of the granule size for rifles. It's sort of a short stick powder. And I discovered something cool about the Match Master while I was messing around with it. I told you about the drain on the bottom, right? Well, when you rotate the drain and you open it, and the unit is on, it actually gives you a drain indication. And I love that because it's gonna make it really difficult to fill the unit and then have the powder run out instantly. Okay, so let's start with the bullseye. First time I've added powder to this unit. Just gonna dump it in there. And that was not that full actually, but that's all right. What we have to do before we dispense powder is we have to give it a powder code. And these codes are numbers one through four and they correspond to the size of the granule. So I'm gonna go with one for the bullseye and I'll probably go with three for the varget. So if we hit one powder, it's gonna say flake powder. And I will note that this is pre-production firmware and you're likely to see something slightly different for what it tells you the powder is for each of those powder coats. So we've filled the hopper, kind of, <laughs> and we've specified our powder. Now we can enter a weight, like say we said 5.6 and then hit go. It's gonna fill up the tube. There we go. Okay, now we've got powder coming out of both tubes. So now only the small tube is going. Look at that, huh? 5.6, let's see what happens if we empty our charge, replace the pan. Hit go again. And then that, now that both tubes are full, you can see that we're coming up to the charge weight a lot quicker. There we 
There we go. And another charge. Let's do that one more time. Got a little bit of static here. So now we're back up to that final trickle phase here. There we go. Let's try a larger charge weight. Let's say we had a, a Magnum shooting a similar powder. Let's go with 24 grains. Okay. Now we're into the, do you see how rapid that was? That was interesting. Wow, that gets up there quick. Last little bit. 0 0.02 grains. There it is. Let's see that one one more time. Again, I need to wipe down this pan. It looks like it's got some fairly good uh, static going on there. There we go. So that was match mode with automatic turned off. Automatic means when you put the pan back on the plot and it's gonna automatically dispense a new charge. I wanna introduce you to the menu system by switching to the standard mode from the match mode, which is gonna dispense a little bit more quickly and a little bit less accurately, and then we'll also engage the auto mode. So we hit the mode button. For auto, let's go ahead and change that setting. We hit go. It's off, the four key will toggle, so we can go on, off, on, hit go. Now that's active, we're on auto mode now. Hit mode again, we're gonna hit two to scroll through the options, match, enter that, match is on, hit four, it's off, go. Okay, so now we're in standard mode, which is quicker and less accurate, and we're in auto mode in terms of when we put the pattern back on, it's gonna automatically dispense a new charge. So let's go back to our low charge weight, 5.6, and then hit go. And we'll see how standard mode does. So it looks like it switched off the fast bring up at about five grains, and it's gonna sort of slowly trickle the last 0.6. Okay, there's one. And now if we put the pan back on the platen with all of the powder out of the pan. It's gonna hit zero again and start going automatic. This is the way I would use the scale if I'm loading bulk match ammo because it's just one less thing to have to worry about and I like the th fact that it gives you a beep tone when it's done so that you know to interrupt whatever else you might be doing. There we go. Okay, so now let's enter our 24 grain charge weight again. Okay, go, whoops, we're gonna have to put the pan back on. <laughs> 24, go, there we go. And you can see the large tube really kicking in there, even a bit more quick than uh, when we were in match mode. It's gonna be more aggressive. So this could depend. If you're sitting on a node where you have less sensitivity to charge weight fluctuation, and again, we're in auto mode, so we get every single granule of powder out of the pan. 
we will start going again. Yeah, if you're sitting on a node and you're not as sensitive to charge weight fluctuations, you're gonna probably wanna use the standard mode. If you're doing really precise load development or loading super precision match ammo, I would suggest the, the match mode. But of course, it's gonna take uh, using this machine for a while to really know what the different capabilities are. Okay, so that does it for our bullseye. Okay, time to move on to Varget, but before we do that, Obviously, we need to remove the bullseye from the powder machine. I'm just going to turn the unit off and then unplug the power. And what we need to do, I also like to remove the pan at very minimum, is we're going to plug the straw into the drain port and then rotate the chute. You see that draining out? Let's see if you can hold this a little bit so that you can see that. It's coming out quickly. Now, another thing that we need to do is tilt the machine back and shake a bit like so, so that the, the two tubes here will empty themselves into the main compartment. We're gonna tilt it forward a little bit. Okay, we've got our, still getting used to this. Okay. We're just gonna get the rest of the powder here and then close the port, take out the drain tube. And I'm just gonna tilt it here on the cap for the powder just to uh, make sure that we empty those. Get rid of a little bit of the excess there and we are ready for the Varget. I'm gonna plug the machine back in and turn it on because if I did forget to close the drain, I want that audible warning. Okay? Alrighty. And we can go ahead and re zero here and add our Varget. We've got more Varget than I had Bullseye, so let's fill it a little bit more full this time. There we go. And there we have it. So for our rifle charges, we're gonna focus on two charge weights. 25 grains, which is gonna be right where you're at with something like a 223, and then 50 grains to mimic something like a 308 Winchester. We're on standard mode and we're on manual here. So we're gonna pick the powder. I'm gonna type in three and powder. That's an extruded powder selection. That should work pretty well. We'll hit 25 and go. See how quickly that comes up to the base charge. And then we're just to that last point too now. Really fast. And we're right on. I found this scale tells the truth. If it goes over, it'll show over. See that one more time. And I will note that you can actually fine tune the settings for the large tube and the small tube. There's quite a few parameters. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but quite a bit of flexibility. So let's go ahead and go up to 50 greens. You see that large tube is kicking it up just a little bit more because there's more bulk charge to dispense. right up to that charge weight. One more time on that. There we go. So let's see what happens if we go into mode and we're gonna go to match, select that, hit the four key, turn match mode on. Let's 
center the pin. It's going to zero out. See what happens now. It's still bringing the bulk charge up to weight quickly, but it's going to take a little bit more time between each of the trickling sequences to stabilize the scale. And that's how one of the ways that it attains the accuracy that you get. Okay, 50.06. Looks like we went slightly over on that one. Let's see what happens if we repeat that. Fifty point zero zero. Now I did have a point zero six overage, and let's go to four, and that should actually optimize this a little bit better. Okay, fifty go. I'll show you in a little bit with the Bluetooth Companion app. You can actually store your powder settings. Once you run a, your own powder through the Match Master, you're loading it the way that you're loading you can take all of those configuration settings and preserve them uh, via the app and then just quickly reselect those when you go to load the next time, which is kind of a, a nice feature. You can see how much slower it's trickling now. And there we are, 50 grains right on the nose. Another selling point of the RCBS Matchmaster powder dispenser is the fact that it has Bluetooth low energy built in onboard in the hardware. And RCBS is releasing an app. I have the pre-release beta version of that app here called RCBS Matchmaster. And not only does that enable you to monitor and control the scale, but it's got a couple other nice features built in like a load log where you can store your load data. There's those powder settings that I mentioned when we were dispensing Vargit. If you've got it to meter just right with the right performance, the right uh, accuracy, you can store those powder settings and call them up easily through the powerful interface on your phone with the amazing touchscreen. And then we can do things like go through the calibration sequence and dispense. So I won't show you all of the features with this app because it is pre-release and some of these things are gonna change slightly but we will go through and dispense some powder with it. So let's pick large extruded. It's communicating with the scale. Let's go with standard mode. We're gonna go with manual. Go ahead and enter our charge weight. Let's go with 45 grains. Hit set. And go. You can see the numbers updating here as it's dispensing. There's this little animation showing you kind of what's going on. Really like the fact that I can use my phone to control the device because I have this powerful touch screen in my pocket. Why not use it? And then the ability to store data, really looking forward to trying that out and experimenting with that as well. So there you go, a basic demo of the Bluetooth functionality with the RCBS Matchmaster powder dispenser. There's one more super important thing that I wanted to cover in this initial video, and that's to test the accuracy and the precision of the load cell, the internal scale that's a part of the RCBS Matchmaster powder dispenser. So I've got eight grains of powder in the pan here, and if we remove this and replace it, We'll see it go back to eight. Let's do that one more time. And one more time. You see how fast it is too. Okay, so back to eight. And in talking with RCBS about this test, they said, use the FX120i, but make sure that you use the same calibration weight. So I just calibrated both of these scales. The Match Master, I used the 20 gram weight and the 50 gram weight. And for the a and FX120, I did the zero point and I used the same 50 gram weight for a 50 gram calibration sequence. It's called external weight calibration for the a and So let's see what the a and says for this. 8.028. Got a tiny bit of air current here for moving my hands. Eight on the dot. So 
That's pretty impressive. Let's increase the charge weight a little bit here. Kind of doesn't matter what the exact value is. Okay, so there's an 84 grain charge weight. Magnum rifle, something like that, 84.2. 84.2, 84.2, very good. Okay, let's see what the A&D FX120 says. <laughs> Within point zero to 84.2, exact. Wow, let's take that back off. Let it settle. Yeah, we're pretty much within point zero 0.02. That actually read just a little bit lower that time. That's interesting. 84.16, 84.2, very, very good performance. I've had zero drift whatsoever so far. Really good precision. We see really good repeatability here and really good accuracy because we're seeing basically the same number between the Matchmaster scale and the AMD FX120i. So far, I'm super impressed with the RCBS Matchmaster powder dispenser. The quality is great. The performance is great. I really like the Bluetooth and the companion up. I love the powder drain alarm and the tube. Set it right into the powder keg, open it up and let it go. And if you want to know more about this powder dispenser, I'd say hit that first link in the video description because in the accompanying article, I'll have more of the accompanying data, more photos, more information, and Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're going to see the Matchmaster powder dispenser in upcoming stores. Long range shooting, long range load development, long range match ammunition loading. It's going to be a lot of fun. Do you have questions about it? What do you think about it? Please drop a comment. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.